Uh, what's good, y'all? It's fresh, and this is the Moon Runners, man. We back. So, uh, first and foremost, shout out to all of the new subscribers. Like, listen, man, I've been paying attention. I'm staying focused, and I'm seeing what's going on. Shout out to Dre five hours ago. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody that's been commenting, all right? Subscriber, J.M. Fernandez, all right? I just want to send a shout out to everybody, man. Every person that has been D Wolf, every person that has been commenting, every person that's been engaging with the channel, happy dude, man. Shout out to all of y'all, all right? So, uh, man, I'm going to mess that all up. I don't know where you from, my brother. But I want you to know I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to every single person, man, that has been engaging with the channel, man. Like, man, um, it's been an absolute explosion, right? So from yesterday, I was going to record a video yesterday. I was going to record a video yesterday. And from yesterday to today, y'all, there has been like in 24 hours, there's been an explosion for like 15 subscribers or something. And for me, I'm like, man, that's good. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not even tripping. Like, I'm like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm feeling great. Uh, Today is the 5th. So it's showing that we down a little bit. Okay, this is the views. This isn't the subscribers, y'all. So pay attention, right? It says views, 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 views gained. The views is down. I mean, of course, it's 322 in the morning. So the views is down. It doesn't matter. Let's get into it. All right. So. What are we here to talk about today? Make sure y'all check out this link, right? This link right here has the phone number to connect with me directly. Everybody that has, I appreciate y'all. Everybody that's been on the X on the Twitter, which is right here, right? So don't overlook this link. There's a link right here. I wish this was bigger like this one. I wish this was bigger and more visible, but the X, the Twitter is right here. The phone number, this link that you're looking at on the screen, this whole link at the Moon Runners is directly below this video, all right? Pinned as the first comment. Go to the comment section of this video, look in the description, but look in the pinned comments and click on that link. You can call me. You can send me a text message. If you call me and it goes to the voicemail, I will, you guys, I will follow up with y'all. The person that called me the other day and I did not follow up with you, I apologize. I'm doing it on this video. I'm showing y'all I'm a human, just like y'all. Called me on Sunday at 4.26 p.m. Man, it's been a couple of days. Ooh, we. I know they're going to be pissed. So, um, nope, that wasn't the video. That, that was not. That was not it. I'm my bad. I apologize, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm telling the fit. So, that was, says Alan Pope. Grand Prairie, Texas. I think that's the same person, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so anyways, if um, my my apologies, right? So I'm, my apologies for the late response. Um, please uh Hit me back, and I'll help in any way that I can. All right, so y'all see that it's three twenty-four a.m. Whoever receives this message, send me your name first and foremost. Send me your name. My apologies for the late response. Please hit me back and I'll help in any way that I can. All right. It's 324 a.m. I want y'all to know I know our times are not matching up, but I'm on top of what I tell y'all. I'm, I'm following up and I'm human, y'all. And I'm like, I'm a person that's about my word. All right. I'm about to give away some free crypto, man. So look, let me make sure I do that real quick. Let me put this on the screen. Anybody that's want the free crypto. Make sure I check this video out and do everything the video says. What do I need y'all to do on this video? Right here. This video right here, right here, right here, right here. Y'all see this video right here? This is the video. How to get free crypto, right? Watch this video. What I need y'all to do, I need y'all to repost that video, this video on the screen. Take that video, 
repost it on your ex Twitter, repost that video, right? Hashtag get free crypto. How to get free crypto? Hashtag free get get free crypto. Hashtag right. Post that video. Y'all helping me to help y'all to help me expose the video. I'm gonna tell you why. People are like, well, you know, this is helping your channel, this and that. But I'm about to give away free crypto, and this is not the only time or first. This is the first time. This is not the only time. I'm about to give away. Free crypto on this video, and then I'm gonna give away even more. The next video that I do, the next free giveaway is gonna be even more. So if you knew, just share the video. Share the video, y'all. Share the video. The reason why is because if you don't get this round, eventually you might get free crypto. So I'm gonna give away even more on the next one. And um, yeah, 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 yeah. So y'all already know what I'm saying, man. Like, I, I, you know, I go down a rabbit hole of like, yeah, I'm giving away free crypto. and I keep talking. I, you know, sometimes I just don't know when to shut up. I just keep talking. Okay, so. How do I move? Okay, there we go. I'll move this down. All right. I know my intro was super long on this video. What is the Internet uh, Computer Protocol, ICP? It exists, you guys, to solve one problem. What does it exist to solve? The centralization of internet uh, internet infrastructure. The biggest application in the world today exists on centralized systems, right? This presents two major challenges. What are the challenges that this solves? I mean, that this presents, right? And that internet ICP solves. First challenge is that the centralization of this data makes it liable to hacks, so, right. And what is number two? The second one is the major challenge is the centralized servers provide many censorship opportunities. So let me cover these two things right now. The first challenge is the centralization of data makes it liable to attacks. OK. And there's another coin that I'm going to cover in one of the upcoming videos, right? That talks about quantum computing and how quantum computers can possibly and potentially, I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's just like a placebo or not placebo. I don't know if it's, uh, um, you know, one of those fear mongering things where they all will just buy this coin because, you know, it's going to solve quantum computing and quantum computing could attack your crypto. I don't know. But what I am telling you is, is that, with all of these uh, these expansions in technology, they're going to pose risks. They're going to pose issues and challenges. We know this. We know that, you know, with growth and technology and expansion, there's going to be some challenges. It's going to be issues that people have, right? So the first thing that this ICP can, can, uh, can one of the issues that it can solve, you guys, is the challenge of centralization of data it makes it liable to attacks, right? This is one of the things that ICP can solve. Second thing is, major challenge is that centralized servers provide many uh, censorship opportunities. So this is second one, and this is the first one, all right? Boom, boom, all right? Okay, so let's get rid of that real quick. Um, Web3, right? So ICP is solving issues on web three. Look where it is. Right now it's number three. Polkadot, which is something that's been around for years. Chainlink, been around for years. ICP, okay? So these two have been around for years. I remember seeing Chainlink um, back in anywhere from 18 to 19. I've seen Chainlink come in. And then Polkadot came in after that. And now you got internet computer protocol. These are web three. And then we can keep going down. I could keep talking about this, right? There's a lot of coins. And I'm trying to keep this video short and quick because my intro was long. Here goes the X. All of these uh, links that you're seeing on the screen, what you want to do is you want to come <clears throat> right here on start with coinmarketcap.com 
Okay, you want to type in ICP, right? Internet Computer Protocol. Okay. We are down, y'all. I was like, oh, well, it bounced back up. I'm waiting for it to uh, populate. Excuse me, y'all. It's loading, loading, loading. Um, computer kind of slow. All right, so... Over the last month or week, let's go back to the week, right? So the high over the last week, you guys, is uh I'm trying to get it all the way up. Okay, eighteen dollars and uh so nineteen dollars, right? On the thirty first, which is a couple of days ago. All right, nineteen dollars and thirteen cents. So we down. $2 and some odd change. And uh, let's see where we are. Let's go back up. Yeah. All right. Yep. So that's $20 and 61 cents. Man, this coin is moving. It's been a lot of FUD. It's been a lot of crazy talk up and down about this coin. So I really wanted to cover this tonight about, right? Let's go right here. Internet computer protocol. The Internet Computer Blockchain incorporates a radical rethink of blockchain design powered by innovations in cryptography. The first world computer. This is something I really need to cover, right? It provides the first world computer blockchain that can be used to build almost any online system or service including demand demanding web service media without need for traditional IT, such as cloud computing services. All right. So, man, I've seen a, I've seen a comment under a video Man, it's three three three. Man, y'all, man, shout out to y'all. Man, let's go, man. Let's go, let's go. I know I'll be up late. Three three three. Y'all see it on the screen. Three three three. Y'all see it on the screen. Three three three. Let's go, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Y'all see that, man? Powerful. Anywhere, powerful numbers. I seen a comment that was like, um, it said that. Most people think that the blockchain basically was created for decentralization and the blockchain was created for everybody. And I was like, you know what? I needed that. So I kind of screenshot it. And I was like, yeah. Let me see where it's at. See if I can find it. That's not it. That's the 27 right here. Nope, that's something else. Um, man, that's man. That 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 comment. A person. I actually want y'all to realize something. The person comment underneath somebody else's video, and it was just basically breaking it down. I was like, they gave me game. They gave me game, and I was like, I needed that because we all communicating with one another. You know what I mean? And it was like, basically, um, people think that the blockchain is only for cent uh, decentralization. No, when the blockchain is for everybody. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's what's up, man. That's powerful. I needed that because it's going to give you a different perspective. Like, you think that blockchain is uh, only for decentralization. And you're wrong. We're sadly mistaken. <laughs> we are sadly mistaken thinking that the blockchain... Okay, people need to realize that blockchain is for everyone. It will have central it will have centralized and decentralized parts. Uh this person this was on Tuesday from today which is Friday, so this the 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd and this was posted one hour ago. So on Tuesday, 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd, April 2nd, 2024. 
people need to realize that the blockchain is for everyone. It's not just for us. It's not just for decentralization. XRP is not for decentralization, y'all. Let's be real. People that believe in XRP, I'm sorry, sadly mistaken, that y'all are buying interest to another form of, man, I mean, nothing about what I'm saying is financial advice. People are not going to like what I say in this video because it's like, you know what? XRP is buying back into the banks. The banks are going to use the ledger and the ledger, which could be back in the day, like, oh, we want to decent, but are the banks decentralized or centralized? Like they're about control. They are about powering their narrative. Decentralization is pancake swap, right? Decentralization is, you know, Uniswap. Decentralization is, uh, you know, Bitcoin. Decentralization is, I mean, you know, from what I'm seeing right now, uh, ICP, Internet Computer Protocol. That's right now. Future, I don't know. Decentralization is to give the power and the control back to the people. Anything that wants to take more and more power is more and more central. That's not decentralized. Oh, man. They have a staking mechanism right here. I'm about to go over that in a whole separate video. Someone's speaking about, man. Uh, who's the founder? The founder, you guys, is Dominic Williams. And there's another gentleman that I want to speak about in this video. I want to give y'all this visual about the, how it, what it looks like, right? What it looks like if it's, you know, in a visual where you got just it, it, different networks, right? So this is Dominic Williams, the founder and chief scientist, right? And, and I want to really break down who he is. It's a British computer scientist and visionary responsible for conceiving the concept with a background in computer science and crypto uh, cryptography, right? Williams has a deep understanding of the intricacies of blockchain technology. His vision for a decentralized internet led to the creation of internet computer. And then from him, there was another gentleman. There's a couple of people on the squad. But there's another gentleman right down here. Right, right here. Uh, Timo Hankey, right? Hankey, Hankey. Timo Hankey, right? Timo Hankey or Hankey is a professional, is a professor of mathematics and cryptography. He is also instrumental in the internet computers development with his vast experience in cryptography. This dude right here is a mathematician, basically, they say. So these two people I really want to talk about, and there was another guy right here who is, right, he's got, uh, brings his experience to the, to the internet computer with over 10 years and senior engineering roles at Google. This dude's from Google. There's a bunch of other people, right? So y'all check this medium out. All right, uh, I'm going to play a little bit of this video and we're going to be done. Two years on from launch, we really are. Let's go into this. The, the history of the internet computer really dates back to the mid 1990s when I began working on distributed systems. By the dot com era, I was also working with cryptography and trying to create what would have been one of the world's first cloud services 2013 i got into bitcoin and by the end of the year i decided i wanted to create a virtual currency for the games industry i circulated a paper in october 2014 repurposing traditional presenting fault tolerant consensus map i got involved with the early ethereum community and i'd seen how blockchain could do much more than just cryptocurrency and you could in fact use a blockchain to host code and data and computation 
at some point I, I heard the phrase world computer. To me, world computer, it meant an extension of the internet that you could use to build almost any system and service using smart contracts. I renamed the project Affinity, which is a shortening of centralized Infinity, and began working towards this new goal of creating the world computer. Affinity Foundation was created in October 2016, and then it ran a big public ICO in February 2017. That enabled us rapidly to expand the Divinity R&T team. By the end of that year, we, we were running the biggest R&D operation in blockchain. The people we have at Affinity are just the most incredible bunch of hardworking, visionary, talented people you could ever imagine. And you know, I'm grateful every single day that I come to work. When the internet computer mainnet finally launched, it was, it was pretty wild. As an organization, we're primarily staffed by R&D folks, as is the nature of the project even now. Meanwhile, while all this wildness was going on, we had to contribute to the network to keep it up and running. The internet computers uh, managed to run the last two years without any downtime. There's been so many uh, improvements that have been added to the internet computer in the last two years. There are almost too many to mention. Um, just recently, something called Chainkey Bitcoin went live. Internet computer nodes actually talk to Bitcoin nodes. That enables smart contracts on the internet computer to directly process Bitcoin on the Bitcoin blockchain. Now, the bridges. The next step is to integrate with Ethereum, which will allow smart contracts on the internet computer to process any asset on the Ethereum blockchain and call into Ethereum smart contracts. And that, that's a big deal because internet computer smart contracts can serve user experiences by processing HTTP. And that's a very unique capability. By integrating the internet computer and Ethereum networks, we'll be giving that unique capability to Ethereum smart contracts too. So one of the very cool things about the internet computer, it's the world's first adaptive blockchain. And that means that it runs under the control of a decentralized governance system. And you can submit proposals to this governance system that change the structure of the network or run protocol upgrades, and they'll be executed completely automatically. This differs from traditional blockchains, which are... All right. So I just heard what he said, right? I'm definitely going to be following up with this video. I really don't want to keep y'all too long, and I do not want this video to be confusing. Um, there are so many moving parts of ICP to where people can be confused. I want to keep it simple. I watch videos, y'all. I've been in crypto since 2016, 17, and I watch videos on ICP, and I'm like, there's a point where you get lost. And if I've been in that long, the new person is going to be lost. New people are going to be like, man, I don't know what's going on. And I don't want y'all to be lost. Like, this is me and my realization. Like, okay, so y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. If y'all want me to do a dumbed down version of ICP, drop the comment below. Make sure y'all realize that this link that y'all looking at to connect with me is below. This video, phone number, the, the X, shout out to everybody that's been following me on the X, all of that. Like, I was like, man, I'm nervous about doing a video about X, uh, XRP, about um, ICP, Internet Computer Protocol, because I'm like, man, there's too much going on. But here I am dropping a video. All right. So there goes the uh, what's the name? Shout out to everybody that has been following. Everybody that's been connected with me. All of the videos. Y'all go check me out, man. Follow me on the Internet. Um, another computer protocol. Follow me on the X, man. All right. My brain moving so quick, man. So fast. Um, there goes the. All right. There goes the link. Everybody that's been following. And that computer protocol. I don't want to miss anything, man. That's why I'm like, I'm trying to make sure I go through everything. The staking, I'm gonna have to go through that in a separate video. Um, there goes the Definity, the the X is called Definity. It's not ICP or Internet Computer Protocol, which can be confusing. I just want to make sure I'm I'm covering all of those things, man. There's a lot of other things that I'm going to be covering in the next video about this. So I appreciate y'all, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Nothing about what I'm saying is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I got to make sure I'm saying that in all of my videos is fresh 
And this is the Moon Runners, man. Y'all make sure y'all do your own thing. I'm just showing y'all something. It's for entertainment and educational purposes only. I appreciate y'all, man. All right. Like, comment, and make sure y'all subscribe. Turn on all post notifications. I love y'all. Peace.